Alright, and we got quote stepping up to the setup. Our next challenger for Spark. And this time it's a Captain Falcon. Uh, which is a matchup that is kind of, I would say, easier to handle at this level of play than uh, Pikachu. But that being said, like, if you've got those standard combos developed, which it looks like Quote probably does, it can be very explosive on the Falcon side of it. A bear. Oh, he drops it. Meant to do another upper there. Spark blocking the get-up attack. Waiting patiently outside of the ledge jump forward range, but Quote decides to jump up off the ledge with the forward right when Spark dashes in. Spark again, using Fox's walk. Uh, another fun fact for those of you who don't know, I think Fox has the like fastest walking speed in the whole game. So if there's any character that you're going to traverse the stage with a walk, it should probably be Fox. And walk is in general just like an underutilized option for a lot of players uh, because it's so precise the way you can position yourself. Quote, trying to find some substantial startup hit here. Definitely wants to get grab or up smash at this percent. And Spark just gives it to him with that accidental laser. Okay, Ford tilts on the shield, not gonna cut it. It got stale after the first hit, so it became very difficult to continue that pressure. Uh, actually, if the Ford tilt is unstaled, the up angle Fox Ford tilt on shield is something that you can kind of just do on repeat. And it will frame trap a lot of options. Spark needs to down tilt more. Yeah, I agree with that. Or just like go for a grab right there. You don't need to start a combo on Falcon. You just throw him off the level and then down tilt. Spark maybe not quite ready to do that. Like I said though, I mean, we've been seeing so many adjustments from Spark. I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to get back into this set as well, even after a pretty dominant first game from Quote. Big combo from Quote to start it off. Definitely has a handle on those Falcon upper standards. This is what you want to see from Spark though. The weak backers just don't get grabbed. Oh no. Oh, Quote goes for the double. Wasn't necessary. Uh, and Spark not making it back off of that one. Four throw, forder, up air, up air, up air. Down air, not gonna connect. Almost had the full combo. Spark cleaning up that stock with the ledge hog. Capitalizing on the mistake from Quote. Just very patient on the ledge there. Maybe taking a sec to think about how he wants to approach this. Explosive Captain Falcon player. Yeah, um. I see what you're saying, EG. Yeah, when Spark failed that recovery, he could have double jumped and made it back. Uh, I would presume that he knows because in melee, you also get your double jump back from command grabs. Uh, but probably just like is more used to foxes up the melee, which goes quite a bit further than it does here in 64 in this space. That it's a good thing to point out, though. It's a shine, falling backers. Spark is just not down tilting, uh, which is what you really want to do against Falcon there. Down tilt and then just like hit him over. But he's going for these four tilts, and yeah, the ledge DI from Falcon there is gonna let him like grab the ledge. The knockback gets reduced so much that he ends up just falling into the ledge from that. Quote is looking pretty comfortable here, just going for a huge down air call out. Does not get it, a little bit of a missed space. Shaking his head, he does he probably doesn't want to throw any more stocks away in that fashion. Uh, in this situation, really just gotta clutch up and finish it out. Spark maybe not looking 100% comfortable with the edge guards on Falcon. I guess if you don't know, then you don't know. 
Uh, I feel like it's something that, if he was aware that he could be doing that, he would be doing it, and probably doing it well, but has not thought of the down tilt yet. So just going off these backers, which can be dangerous, because as you see here, Falcon is either going to hug you or fall into your up B, and you give him another release on life with that. That being said, Spark bringing Quote all the way back to last stop. Look at his patient lunch play. He wants that grab. Quote is not leaving the top platform. They are now having a war of attrition. Who is going to go in first? It is Quote's game to lose here if he decides to go fight around the ledge where it's not safe and he's going in. It's so dangerous. You can't let the losing player force you to play their game in this situation. Just stay where you're comfortable and where your position is strong. Right? Spark wants you to come to the ledge. He wants you to be on the floor so he can rack up these laser damage. Oh, and the back throw. And they both wanted to grab there, but Falcon manages to get it. Quote clutches that set out. Spark was looking scary for a second there, but he's able to manage to hold on to it. So Quote takes it. Who else in the pool? Spark still has to play. 